Welcome to the Bentley Systems training course where you will learn how to generate design strips for a complex slab in RAM concept. In this particular video, we're going to take a look at slab overhangs or cantilevers and learn how to modify the span segment support information to adjust the reinforcement layout at these conditions. As you can see on your screen, I'm already taking a look at the longitude design spans plan. And let me go ahead and zoom in at the north end of the slab. Now for this particular model, what you're going to notice is that the north end of the structure in the longitude direction, we do have a slab overhang. You can see our preliminary columns are here, but then our edge of slab goes out a little bit beyond. Now before we go ahead and take a look at that slab support conditions, let's also take a look at some of the symbols that are automatically generated by RAM concept. Each span segment is defined by its support one and support two ends. When you generate your span segments automatically by the program, it will detect where support ends are located. If you take a look at a typical span segment, you're gonna notice the two arrows are present. The larger arrow at the end of the span segment represents a support condition. And again, the program will automatically detect things like columns and walls below the slabs. These will be located at center of support by default. In addition to that, you're going to see a smaller arrow. This will represent the support width. They're basically usually the face of support. Now this information, your support width, will automatically be detected by the program. And you can go ahead and modify this information in the span segment properties. Now that we took a look at those arrows, let's also take a look at this condition. This is our cantilevered slab. As you can see at one end of the span segment, we have the two arrows are present. Those are detecting the columns that are supporting this span segment at one end. Now at the other end, the program has recognized that this is not a support condition, and this area will be designed as a cantilever. Here we can see that just the smaller arrow is present, which indicates the support width, and by default it's going out to the edge of slab. Now that we've taken a look at the symbols that'll be used by RAM concept, let's also take a look at how this relates to the reinforcement plan. So here you can see I already have longitude bars plan of open, and since this will be designed as a cantilever, I'm specifically looking at the top bars. That being said, I can go ahead and turn off the bottom bars if that will make this process a little clearer for me. Now you can see all of my top bars have been indicated on plan, and I would see that this edge is being designed as a cantilever. These are the top bars that are going past these columns and then to the edge of slab. In addition to that, I'm also noticing this symbol right here. This is like a little cross tick mark. What this symbol is indicating is that there's an anchor at the end of these top bars. The reason for that for this particular model is because we don't have quite enough development length in order to develop those top bars completely. Now we can modify our design spans to allow the program to hook those bars if we would prefer not to detail a anchor at these locations. Now before we modify our design span properties, let's also take a look at how RAM concept will calculate the development length for program bars. When laying out program design bars according to the ACI 318, RAM concept will use the first option in this list that fits in the slab. This information is also available in the RAM concept help manual. So let's go ahead and take a look at that. So we'll return back to our longitude design spans plan. Let's go ahead and select those cantilevered design spans. We'll right click and say selection properties. Now here we've asked the program to detect the supports and edges automatically. So you can see here that has been selected. It considered the 
end one as a support, that would be my column end, and then you can see automatically it considers end two as not a support. That's my cantilevered end. So what I'm gonna do for this exercise, I'm gonna go ahead and unselect that, and I'm gonna take a look at the support width at end two. If I were to pull this back a little bit, the program may be able to detail hooked bars at the end of this cantilevered end, which is the way I would prefer to detail this system. So I'm gonna go ahead and hold them back about 16 inches for this example. Once I'm done, let's go ahead and click OK. I can regenerate the mesh and reperform the preliminary calculation. Now let's return to that longitude bars plan. Here I can see I was successfully able to modify my span segment properties to allow the program to hook the bars with an increased development length. Now that we've adjusted our design spans for our overhang conditions in the longitude direction, let's also take a look at the latitude direction where we'll make similar types of edits. Here, let's go to the latitude area and if I were to zoom in, I could see that there is a cantilever condition over at the eastern side of the structure, as well as at the slab depression area. So I'm going to go to my latitude design spans plan and edit those slab overhangs. So here I'll select the eastern side first and ask the program to increase that support width at N2. I will repeat that process for the slab depression. In addition to that, I'm also gonna take a look at this smaller overhang. Now for that particular location, I'm gonna go ahead and choose to delete this design span. This is fairly short and wouldn't be necessary to design top bars as a cantilever in this particular location. Now, as I review the rest of my system, I'm still looking for any slab overhangs and I did go ahead and address all of them. At this point, I'm going to perform another calculation and review the new latitude bar plan. Now here I can see at the slab overhang at the eastern area of the structure, as well as the slab depression, has detailed hook bars. I'm no longer detailing anchors at those conditions. At this point, I've gone ahead and addressed my slab overhangs and modified the support condition to ensure that the bars are detailed the way I would prefer. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you and see you next time.